Yeah, as long as we have the bid in by Thursday, we should be fine. I have a good feeling about this one. All right, you got it, George. Thank you. Was that a close on the Howard Ranch? Almost. Fingers crossed. Ah, uh, impressive. You know you're practically running this company single-handedly. If I'm running Lavana single-handedly, what does that say about you? That I know how to benefit from my harder work and colleagues. You ready to go to this meeting? Diana said that she wanted us there at 4 p.m. sharp. Come on, we gotta go. And here she is now. <laughs> The youngest executive in Lavana's history has just hit $100 million in sales for the year. Yeah. Congratulations, Leah. We're so proud to have you as part of our family. Should we? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, don't pick up your own party. That's what we have a cleaning staff for. You know I can't do that to them. I always like to leave a place better than I found it. Thank you. We really didn't have to do all this. We miss celebrating the other milestones. I figured we couldn't let this one pass us up, too. Especially not one this big. Mind if I have a private word with Leah? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Leah, leave that. Have okay. a seat. Please, come and have a seat. I want to have a chat. What's going on? All right. The board is very impressed with you, you know. I'm so flattered, thank you. It's not easy getting where you are in this business. I won't pretend it was easy for me either. Being a woman in what is still very much a man's world, you often have to work twice as hard to only get half as far, but it's worth it. We're making a difference. Taking the archaic work of the past and making it relevant for the future. We make vacation homes and resorts, Diana. We make futures. And we make money. <laughs> I know you've got that little, well, more than little nest egg you've been saving for years. <laughs> but I mean it. The board loves you. I'd say all it takes is one more impressive project, and I'm looking at my future partner. Wow. Diana, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You deserve it. Just don't mention anything to Michael. I want to believe he'll be a good sport, but I'm not sure how he'll take the news that I'm giving you the promotion over him. Oh, hi, Michael. There she is. How's your little chat? You know, Diana, she just likes to check in. With you, maybe. Then you guys have always had your own little thing going on. I think she just sees me as similar to her. And honestly, she's kind of the only mentor I've ever had. Scoot. Yeah, exactly. Your own little thing going on. She didn't by chance mention anything about these um, murmurs. I've been hearing about there being an opening for a partner. Like I said, she just wanted to check in. Gotcha. You down for the day? How about we grab some celebratory drinks? Thank you for the invite, but not tonight. I've already got plans. Oh, she got plans. Oh, yeah. What kind of plans? OK, Michael, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, maybe I could call you after.
Julia. Thank you. some pretty great news at work today and was thinking about going out for an impromptu celebration. You free? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't tonight. Yeah. No worries. Next time. Okay, congrats, girl. Thank you. You've reached Mary. Sorry I can't get to the phone. Leave a message. My goodness. Kiki! It really is you! You know, I could hardly believe when I saw your name come up on my phone. I know. I'm sorry it's been so long. I've just been so busy. I know. You know the kids have been asking about their Auntie Leah. They have not. Well, they would if they ever got a chance to meet you. How are you doing? I'm great. Yeah? Yeah, you? Oh. Same, same, you know, servant and chauffeur and caterer and everything else for the little ones. Lucky little ones. They deserve it. But man, those days of staying up all night in the dorm room with you and gorging ourselves on our meal plan at Parkside, you know, I couldn't seem further away. <laughs> but did that happen or did I just dream it? You know, I still have the photo from moving day on proud display. Best random rooming assignment ever. So what's new in your world? Well, I got some pretty big news at work today. I found out I might be up for partner at the company. Leah! That's a really big deal. <laughs> Hello, congrats. Thank you. Uh, you know, John and I always said that you would be the... I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know why I said that. No, don't be sorry. So, are you dating anyone? Nice segue. <laughs> No, I'm not dating anyone. You know me. I do know you, Leah. John wasn't the only guy out there, you know. For me? Maybe he was. Maybe a love like that. Like you have with Kenny. Only comes around once a lifetime, and I already had my go. Yeah, I can't wait to rub it in when one day you tell me that you've fallen madly in love with someone new. And you're gonna start having some kiki of your own. I have accepted that John was that for me. He was my one chance, and I blew it. If you keep telling yourself that you're never going to feel this way again, then you never will. You've got to be open to the finding, Leah. Yes, John was your first love, but that doesn't mean he's your last. Yeah, but maybe he was, and that's OK. I feel like I've leveled out, and I'm in this great place now. I just don't feel things so much anymore. You know I don't remember the last time I cried? Maybe this is what growing up is. Now my food delivery is all I need. You sure about that? Oh, I'm sure. Well, as long as you're actually happy. Work is great. House is great. Life is great. But? No. No buts. Hmm. You know, you should come pay a visit sometime. All that hard work must mean you're due for a vacation. Uh, maybe soon. But right now, when I'm up for partner at the company, I just got to tough it out a little bit longer. Mom! Oh, just a minute, Kaloha. <laughs> the cake you're calling, so I better go, but I'm glad you called, sis. Now go out and celebrate that promotion and have an extra drink for me. <laughs> you got it, Kiki. Talk soon. May I see you in my office for a moment? Sure. Michael's already in there. I love that dress, Diana. Oh, thank you. 
Uh, please, after you. Big news, guys. We just got word that there's a property coming up for auction in Hawaii, one we've had our eyes on for a while. Oh, I bet the Prescotts will be pleased. Mm -hmm, exactly. It's precisely the kind of place where we could develop a resort they're looking to own. So I'm sending the two of you out there to acquire it. The two of us? Yes. The board wants you both to go for this one. Our two best. I'm sure you've both heard by now that there's a partner position opening up here at Lavana. Well, they want to see if you guys can make this acquisition happen. And they want to see which one of you will do it. Which one of us? Aren't we on the same team? Not quite. Uh, this isn't a normal auction. There's some rules in play here we haven't dealt with before. The property currently belongs to a family that's been there for generations, but there's a big tax lien on it that they're not able to pay. Companies, however, are not able to bid on the lien. Private bidders only. So you want us to go out there and bid as private buyers? Yes. The family also gets a say in who takes over the lien, so the board feels it would be wise to give them options. That's why they're sending both of you. Right. Sounds good to me. So when do we leave? The auction is at the end of the month, so I'm having your flights booked for tomorrow. It's going to take time to build trust with the family. The sooner you get started, the better. How are we supposed to build trust with this family we've never met? Well, that's for two of my best buyers in front of me to figure out. <laughs> Don't you know someone out there, your college friend? I, yeah, we just talked last night, actually. So weird. Oh, or maybe not. <laughs> See, you're already connected. It's a sign. So, pack your bags, and let's see who can secure us this deal of a lifetime. Aloha, ladies and gentlemen. Let me be the first to welcome you to beautiful Hawaii. George, we just arrived, so I haven't gotten online yet. I'll take a look as soon as we get to the room. Yep, I'll call you then. Bye. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm oh, so sorry. I'm sure you're going, buddy. Apologies. No, it was my fault. I wasn't looking and I... I wasn't either. Apologies. Can I help you with those? Yes. Uh, no, I've got it. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry. I... I was just looking at my phone and I, wow. Pretty great, huh? This is what you're missing because of that thing. First time here? Yes. Welcome. Thank you. <clears throat> Your first time too? Yes, this is my first time at this hotel. We're pleased to have you. I'm the activities director here, Ikaika. Leah. Michael. Well, pleasure. Um, uh, great to meet you guys. Uh, we have our happy hour live entertainment down in the main lawn in an hour. Check it out if you guys are free. We'll try and make it. Thank you. Are you sure you're okay? He really slammed into you. You could be concussed. Yeah, uh, he, I'm fine. I mean, look at this incredible view. Yeah, yeah, I guess there are worse places to compete head-to-head -head for firm partner. <laughs> he said there was entertainment in an hour. I want to go settle in, and then you can meet me for a drink. Okay, sure. May the best man win. May we do good work. Whatever. 
Aloha in the Como Mai. Good evening and welcome everyone. My name is Ikaika and I'll be your MC for the evening. I hope you are all enjoying your stay here with us. I would love to introduce to you our beautiful singer for the evening, Mailani. Please, let's give her a round of applause. And we've got a very special treat for you all today. For those of you who don't know, hula is a dance unique to Hawaii. It portrays our prophecy and history alike, and it connects us with the tales and stories of our ancestors. Visiting us from the beautiful island of Maui, my cousin Keholani will be sharing a little bit of hula to all of you. Applause, everyone. That was something. I guess you can call it entertaining. <laughs> Should we get another round of drinks? Uh, not for me. I don't think I'm. I'm feeling a little strange all of a sudden. I'm gonna go back to the room to lay down for a bit. You all right? Yeah. Um, probably just jet lag. Uh, I'll see you in the morning. And another round of applause for my Lani. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Oh, good morning. <laughs> you feeling a little better? Much, thank you. Like I said, it was nothing. Just needed some sleep. Ready to go to the property? Born ready. Mm. Mind driving? Sure. So this is what's got Diane and the Prescott's all hot and bothered. I think it's beautiful. Maybe when we're done with it. Wait. What? Shouldn't we ask for permission first? Why? <clears throat> Who's there? Oh. Good morning. Uh, my name is Leah. This is Michael. We're here to see the property that's going into auction at the end of the month. Of course you are. It's always the holidays. Pardon me? We're a little busy today, but you can come back for the scheduled tour on Wednesday. Actually, we were hoping that maybe we could get this conversation rolling a little bit before Wednesday. You wouldn't have to be one of the family members that's responsible for putting this beautiful property up for sale. It's not for sale. <sighs> that went well. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Kiki! Oh, it's really you! I'm sorry it took so long. <laughs> the kids are at school, but let's sit and talk story. You could tell me about your trip and everything else. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm 
don't know, Leah. That sounds tricky to me. I know it is, but honestly, somebody's gonna do it. It might as well be my company. Mm. We're not as unsporting as the others. I mean, at least we actually pay what properties are worth. But they're having you go up against your partner for it too? My colleague, yes. Some company. I mean, that's the nature of business. At the end of the day, this family's going to walk away with a lot of money. It's gonna change their lives. Maybe they don't want their lives to change. Change is inevitable, Kiki. Might as well be comfortable too. Mm. What? Forgive me, sis, but I can't help but remember all the things that you used to talk about in school, about building sustainable housing and community resources and just... Oh, Kiki. Yeah, I had so many dreams. I mean, I would still love to do those things. And to be honest, I have been saving up so that I can one day, but I have to earn my way there first, I guess. That's what I'm trying to do. Man, it really is everything you said out here. <laughs> yeah, now you see why I never came back to LA. I can't blame you. <laughs> Where are you staying? At the Halle Hotel? Oh, yeah, it's nice. There was even a hula dancer last night that, um... That what? I don't know. Uh, watching her, this kind of sounds silly, I... I felt something. This coming from the woman who said just a couple days ago she couldn't feel anything anymore. I know, I know, but... Yeah, watching her dance, I, the look on her face, just pure joy or or longing or, or maybe both i i don't know i wanted to feel that is that crazy i must have been a great dancer oh it sounds like they're stepping up the holly entertainment over there huh what is this word you're saying holly yeah what does it mean uh it's what you are you know not from here oh yeah that's what the woman called us today oh <laughs> don't be surprised when everybody here calls you that is it bad? No, it just is. Now, let's get your hale okole up and over here. I want to give you a full tour before you go. Okay, okole? <laughs> yeah, it's what you've been uh, sitting on, girl. <laughs> Hi, Diana. Hadn't heard from you yet. Michael called me first thing after you guys left the property. Well, that surprises me. There wasn't much to tell. I mean, the property is beautiful. I already have some ideas as to how to build things around the natural lay of the land. Uh, Michael thinks the whole thing would need to be leveled so we can start fresh, and I'm inclined to agree. Really? I think that would be a mistake. <laughs> now is not the time to be branching out, not when you have this competition going on. Competition? Why call it anything else? <laughs> My hands are tied here, Leah. I just don't want you making choices that might jeopardize your future, you know? Hello, everybody. It's time for a group hula lesson. Well, I thought you said the board loves me. Do I have any volunteers to come on up and help me the out? The board is still very old school business. And the idea of a woman partner is a bit more new school. Right? They have these ideas of what makes a successful executive. <laughs> They're going to be watching you closely. Hey, you on the phone. Don't start this is a no like cell phone activity zone. Put that phone away or I'm going to make you our volunteer. Look, I understand that. Fred. Fine. I'm gonna get you. Uh, listen, Diana, I have to go, but I I will get back to you Let's very give soon. Let's a warm welcome. Uh, my thoughts on the land. Volunteer. Thanks, bye. Let that be a lesson to all of you. We take our cell phone rule very seriously. Now, the lovely Leah is going to learn hula and dance with me one of our most cherished Papa Holly songs. Now first, we start with the feet, all right? Like this, follow me. Come on. Do I have to? The sooner you start, the sooner it'll be over. I'm going back. <laughs> there you go. Next is the hips. Hey, you're natural. Let's give Leah a little bit of love, everybody. Now for the fun part. Hula tells a story. So follow my hands and arms and help tell this love story with me. I seem to hear the poly calling me. I 
seem to hear the surf at Waikiki and from Pacific Heights I seem to see the lights of a city that is very dear to me I seem to see everybody on stage with me and let's do it all together. Hey, that was great up there. Oh, gosh, I... You're the dancer from last night. That was beautiful. I mean, you made me cry. Thank you. No, truly, you made me feel things I didn't know I could feel. It was lovely. Mahalo. You know, hula has always been special to me, and it's so great to see new people connect with it. Have you ever thought about learning? Oh, no. I, I mean, I didn't ever see it until you last night. I think I would remember seeing something that beautiful. Well, if it calls to you, I just wanted to let you know you did great out there. Even if Ikaiko was impressed, I'm just never impressed before. <laughs> well, thank you. It was a pleasure meeting you. You too. Wow. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> That was crazy. That was crazy, Leah. I got a hint to you, though. I would have never done anything like that. I would have been caught dead doing what you did up there. Gee, thanks, Michael. I didn't <laughs> choose to go up there. He made me. Well, why'd you let him force you to do it? I would have just kept walking. Bye bye. I guess I'm not as dismissive as you are. <laughs> Hold that thought. Oh, hi, Diana. No, no, it's a little bit quieter now. <laughs> No, no, she isn't dancing anymore. She's actually sitting right here next to me. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, you, you wanna, I'm sure she would love to. She wants to talk to you. Diana, hi. <laughs> yeah, it was right when we were on the phone earlier. I thought I told you to take this seriously. Do you know what the guys on the board would see if they saw you making a fool of yourself like that? No one is going to see. Michael said he took a video. He what? It was just a silly hotel tourist thing. I, it was a one-time thing. We don't need anything making you look soft, okay? Or anything to make the board think that I'm making a mistake by backing you two. Please, try to focus on the end goal here. Oh, you got it. Mm. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye, Diana. You told her I was up there? Yes. <laughs> she called while you were up there and she wanted to know where you were. And you took a video. I did, yeah. But it was funny. <laughs> I mean, it was it was fun. You would you want to see it? I you don't want to see it. Where are you going? I can delete it. To get some work done. I'll delete it. It's not a big um <sighs> delete it. That's great, George. Thank you. Yeah, I'll send an email to Diana right now. Have a great night. Bye. Hey, Diana, just closed on the Howard Ranch. I'll send you all the details tomorrow. Sorry about that.
What are you doing, Leah? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I want to see if you're ready to head over to the property together. Maybe we can grab some coffee along the way. Um, I actually think I'm going to do my own thing today. <sighs> you still mad at me about yesterday? I just don't think it makes sense for us to be doing these visits together when you're constantly reminding me that we are competing and are not actually a team on this. Uh, OK. I'll take that as a yes. Maybe I'll see you there. Bye, Michael. Maybe I'll see you there. Yeah, this looks like auto part O. So, it should be there. good there. It's right there. Leah! Hey, Kaika, good morning. Hi, <laughs> I almost didn't recognize you without your cell phone. I almost didn't recognize you without your microphone and audience. Touche. <laughs> um, sorry, but it's a thing we do out here, calling out the guests like that. How fun for us. Oh, so much tension. We got to teach you how to hang loose. Some of us have too much work to do to hang loose. Oh, I don't know. You did pretty great up there yesterday. Have you ever danced Tula before? No. Well, you're a natural at it. Are you making fun of me? This time I'm not, actually. I mean it. Seriously, you should put that phone down more often. A different side of you comes out. At the risk of sounding totally insane, you don't teach hula for chance. <laughs> Is this a real question? Yes. Well, sure. Yeah, we do group lessons here every day. But I don't want group lessons. I need something more private. Do you do that? No, not really. Uh, what about that dancer you featured the other night? You said she's your cousin, Keolani. Yeah. Uh, does she teach? Well, she left earlier for Maui this morning. No worries. Thank you. Why do you want to learn? I don't know. I felt compelled to ask. That's all. Have a good day. So, hey, cuz. What's up with you and that wahine? Nothing. Yeah, that didn't look like nothing, bro. She's a guest here at the hotel. She was just asking about taking hula lessons. Oh, hello. Yeah, bro, so like I was saying, the grass, got to clean the vine off the tea leaf, all that stuff. I know, guys, I know. <laughs> Must be for Auntie. Guys, you know, I grew up with you my whole life, but you know what I just realized? What's that? You look like the kind, yeah? That, that guy from that brewing company commercial. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean... So identical, like chicken skin identical. Yeah. Ah, come on. <laughs> hey, Kumu. Billy. Aloha. Ah, mm. uh, this note was on the gate for you? 
the phone number of another Howley who wants to take over the place. I saw her leave it. Aloha, Mama. Where do you want me to put these? Barely even a hello for your mother before you get to business. Those can go back over there. Sometimes I think if you didn't need to borrow things from the halal for your silly tourist shows, I would never get to see you anymore. I see you every couple days, Ma. And the only reason why I'm doing the hotel job is for the halal. Oh, cuz, you should tell Kumu about that howl at your hotel to one of the private lessons. She might have money. What is this? You don't want to be a Kumu, but you want to start teaching private lessons to tourists? That's not what's happening at all. One of the guests at the hotel saw Cousin Keholani dance, and she danced at one of the participation activities, and she seemed to love it because she asked about taking private lessons to learn more. You're not a Kumu. Obviously. Yeah, but... Auntie, this woman, she looked like she could pay. I told her I didn't teach. Yeah, but you don't gotta show her anything real. Just spend some time showing her Huki Lao. She's, She's not okay. gonna be happy with just Huki Lao. What's She's... going on between you and this howling? Nothing. I just told you. For once, Billy might be right. You can teach the howling. Goodness knows we need all the money we can get right now. But only Hapa Howling. Understand? Yeah, of course. Trading the phone for another device, I see. I can't be the only person on the island trying to get work done. No, but you might be the only person doing it at the bar of what is typically a vacation. How's it? Didn't think you were working tonight. I'm not. Just here to see this lovely lady. Is that so? It is indeed. I wanted to tell you that after careful consideration, I have decided that I will teach you Huma, if you still want to learn. You will? Under a few conditions. One, no phones. Two, and this came from the Kumu. Who What's a Kumu? A teacher. Uh, Kumu Hula is a Hula teacher. Like you? No, I'm not a Kumu. Normally, if you want to learn Hula, you would have to join a Halau, a Hula school, so to speak. And the teacher and leader of the Halau is the Kumu Hula. But that really means joining the Ohana and committing for a long journey. And frankly, no Halau is just going to let anyone join on a whim, especially not someone just visiting here for a short time. And the Kumu who taught me in particular, is very discerning as to who she will accept as Haumana students. So you're saying you can't teach me? Uh, I'm explaining that I'm not a Kumu, though I thought that's what I was going to be for a long time. So two, what we are going to learn is very informal and just scraping the surface of what we can learn outside of a halal. Only English songs, only basic moves what we call hapa haole. If you want to dive deeper into the styles we call awana or kahiko, traditional hula all in Hawaiian, then you would have to join a halal. Okay, I get it. When do we start? This is my hale. Sorry for the mess. <laughs> Are you kidding? It's beautiful. I know it's not much, but you want it private. Definitely won't be seen by any of your coworkers here. Yeah, it's perfect, thank you. Now, the thing about hula is that its main purpose is not to entertain. It's meant to perpetuate and preserve the stories, culture, history, and traditions of Hawaii. Hula is the heartbeat of the Hawaiian people, and so it must be protected. To know hula is to know Hawaii. Great. Great, let's get started. Let's start with the feet. Take off your shoes. In hula, we start with the feet up. It's our base, our foundation. This is called koholo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, that's it. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Let's try hella. Hella. Point right, two, point left, two, yeah, right, two, left, two, right, two, <laughs> left, two. Okay, now let's try the ka'o. Ka'o is the movement of the hips from right to left, 
right to left, right to left, right to left. Think of moving your hips like a figure eight or an infinity sign, constant flow. Yeah, right, left, right to left, right, right. <laughs> Say hi! <laughs> come, come, come. Hi! Come on. <laughs> auntie! <laughs> this is your Auntie Leah. <laughs> Hello. Leilani, ke aloha. It is so nice to finally meet you in person. You know Auntie Leah, remember? Okay, look, 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 look. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> There's something different about you today, Leah. Is there? Yeah. Maybe the island is changing you, eh? Maybe I'm just really happy to finally be meeting your beautiful family. As much as I want to take their credit, I noticed it when you first got here. You meet someone? No. <gasps> no! No, spill it. It's nothing. I started taking hula lessons. I mean, what, you what? I mean, not really. It's just beginning stuff with someone from the hotel. <laughs> what kind of someone? I mean, can they even do that? I guess to the extent that we're learning, yes. Uh, he said he got permission from his kumu, even though he's not part of the halau anymore. Um, who is he? The guy teaching me. I see. And this guy, does he know what he's doing? I mean, it seems like it to me. Oh, imagine that. My Leah, a little hula girl. Oh, gosh. <laughs> but I can't tell anyone because if my boss found out, she would kill me. I don't think your boss would be the only one opposed. What do you mean? I'm just surprised. Usually, Kumu Hula have strict rules against teaching just anybody hula, especially tourists. But every halau is different, I guess. Well, he said it's outside of halau, and he's not even in it. And he got his Kumu's blessing. I know, I know it's unconventional, but for the first time in a long time, I'm feeling alive. I don't know. <laughs> I believe it. I can see it too. Okay, all right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh, howdy, partner. How's your uh, work solo day been? It was great. Yours? Great, great. Uh, didn't see you at the property today. Oh, I must have missed you. Oh, I missed you too. Well, where, uh, where else have you been? Elsewhere. Well, would you care to join me? Yeah, I have some work to do, actually, so I'm gonna head up, but... Enjoy the rest of your night. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful sunset. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very good. Now let's stop and move on to the next part. Hands. This flowing movement of the hands is called mili. Softer. Smooth. Soft, but strong. Delicate, but purposeful. Focus. Uh, I don't know if my hands move that way. I have an idea. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. You see the waves? Yeah. See how they move in a powerful, smooth, continual motion? Yeah. That's how your hands need to be. Let the island and nature show you.
try it. It's not about them. It's about you and Hula and the island. Come on. Why'd you do that? Oh, the trash? That's a habit. I always like to leave a place better than I found it. <laughs> it's actually a Hawaii rule. Leave the island better than you found it. You're not too bad for a holiday, you know that. I'll take it. Your boyfriend, on the other hand. What? I don't have a boyfriend. The guy you're always with. Michael? No, Michael is not my boyfriend. Does he know that? You did good today. Thank you, but now I'm starving. Can I take you to dinner? There's that place by the hotel I've been meaning to try. No, you don't want to go there. You know? Let me take you out for some real kind grinds. Delicious. Fully sustainable, too. Prawns are raised right here on the land. You can see the pools all around us. Yeah, that's something you don't see in LA. Family's been here for generations, as has this business. And right up the highway, they have this fully sustainable fish pond maintained by generations of volunteers providing resources to the community. Wow, that's wonderful. We're very connected to the land here. Hawaii is more than beaches and Mai Tais. <laughs> So those are pretty great, too. <laughs> <laughs> you see that tree right over there? Yeah. I once knocked myself out by running into it. What? <laughs> no joke. Me and my cousin Billy made this stupid bet over who can run the fastest. So I ran so fast, and when I looked behind me to see if Billy was catching up, I ran right into that tree and knocked myself out. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of the whole halal, too. <laughs> Come to think of it, maybe that's when it was decided that being a kumu wasn't in my future. Mahalo, auntie. Auntie? Everyone's auntie and uncle here. Sign of respect and endearment. We're all one big ohana family. I love that. Do you ever regret it? Regret what? Not becoming a kumu. No. Why would I want such an honored and respected role when I can easily teach tourists the hukulele at some hotel? <laughs> no, but seriously, I don't regret it. It was the best decision for me. What about you? What about me? Would you change anything? Oh, I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. even know what that would look like, you know? I take that back. I wish I had told John how much I actually loved him before it was too late. Sorry, I don't know where that came from. Don't be sorry. Who's John? John was my first, well, really, my only love. We met in college and just clicked. Right after school, I got this incredible job offer on the other side of the country, and I left him for it. I broke his heart. A couple of years later, I realized how much I missed him and how much I messed up, and I went to find him. But he had gotten married and was starting a family with someone new. 
Sorry. Meh. It was a long time ago. I dove fully back into work, and one day it stopped hurting so much. I kind of stopped feeling or doing anything outside of my career, and it's been that way ever since. So, really, this is kind of making a change for me. I mean, no part of me ever thought that I would be here and learning hula and hiding it from my work, no less, so. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for wanting to learn. Sorry for the unexpected rambling. No, thank you for trusting me with it. To new horizons. And new friends. And getting to know the real Hawaii. <laughs> Oh, before I forget. What's this? For the last two lessons. Oh, no, I can't. What do you mean you can't? It's been my pleasure, Leah. You're reconnecting me with my home and letting me experience it through your eyes. That's more valuable to me. Thank you. Positioned right on the crystal blue coast and offering stunning views of the magnificent mountains, this in-demand destination could host upwards of 200 guests in its modest 60 rooms. If we level out the land, this number could climb to 300 guests and 100 rooms. <sighs> or it could sustain generations and generations of a family and community. to know you indeed. All of our songs we dance to, these are all stories of the island. But to really dance the melee, the song, you must really feel the kona, the hidden meaning. Understanding the island might help you get there. This is one of our most historic fish ponds. Breathtaking. Yeah. Volunteers from the community help maintain it. And the resources from the pond, in turn, help sustain the community. I grew up coming here and working the ponds. That's amazing. One of the few places on the island as yet untouched by developers. I want to build something like this one day. I try to come back every now and then, but it will be great to leave the hotel job and do something like this full time. What is it? No, nothing. No, what? You're just really unexpected, Akaika. I mean, listening to you talk about all these things you want to build, I'm reminded that I used to want to build similar things. And I don't know, life got in the way, and I forgot that I wanted those things. It's never too late to remember. No, I guess not. Within the breeze from the beach to the mountains 
the feel the sun warm sand between the toes on your feet every ocean swell cast a spell a new love story to tell sweet happy owns your heart oh to You're getting so close. I think just maybe you're missing the kona, the hidden meaning of the song. It'll come, it'll just take time. You already told me what it means. This, this hidden meaning, I can't tell you. You'll have to discover for yourself. Let's head back. I gotta do hotel activities in an hour. Okay. I think you dropped this, Auntie. Beautiful. Mahalo. Everything okay? You made an impression with that kapuna. Kapuna? Uh, it's named for our respected elders. How did you know which side to put the flower on? Oh, um, it just seemed right. Or maybe you've been paying more attention than you realized. For tomorrow's lesson, I want to give you something. Let's meet at a regular beach spot after work. It's a date. beautiful. A chant. Putting the sun to sleep. Been a long time since I felt called to do that. You've been reminding me, well, reminding me a lot lately. I've made a career out of creating spaces all over the world. I have never met anyone with as much reverence for a place as you. I'm far from being an example of that, as my mother loves to remind me. Well, everything that I've seen since I've met you has shown that you really care. You really love this island. You're making me fall in love with it too. Which is crazy, <laughs> because I thought I was perfectly content back home. But being here, spending time with you and with the island, I think that I am maybe seeing that... I didn't know that I could feel more again. And maybe that's why I'm frustrated when you say that I still don't get the hidden meaning because truthfully, I am feeling more than I have in a very long time. You'll understand the calmness someday, don't worry. 
You know what the Kapuna said to me yesterday? The one you gave the poor to? What? She said she could sense your spirit, and she responded very favorably to you. That's no small praise coming from a Kapuna like her. You also knew which side to put the poo on, and I never told you that. That was a lucky guess. I, I didn't know it mattered. But you did. You're wearing yours on the other side, too. It's like you know without knowing. It's natural. She's right, you know. There's something about you. My mother is a Kumuhula, and for the longest time, I thought that's what I was going to be. But things became a little strained. My father, are you ready for it? Was a holly. He also wasn't a good one at that. He made some unwise investments, got in a little financial trouble. Then one day, just up and left, never came back. She never really got over that. The Kaika, that's terrible. He passed away when I was young. My mom did her best to bounce back, but I think I reminded her of him. I'm glad my mother has the halal. I'm realizing that my mother's real love, her real child, was the halal, and I'll never be good enough for it. I'm sure that's not true. I tried for years. I even chose the halal over what I wanted to build, invested in that instead of the pawns I wanted to create. And I think part of her wanted to trust me, but there was always that part, too, that worried her that I would turn out to be like my father. I'm so sorry. It's OK. I've made peace with that. But now she's in this place where she might lose the halal, or at least the property it's on. So she's come back into my life to ask me to somehow save it. She made me fall out of love with Hula, but here you come, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a holly no less. <laughs> and you're the one making me fall back in love with it again. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I'm supposed to be your teacher. I can't. Ikaika. I understand. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought something for you. I think you're ready for the next step. Normally in Halal, this would be made for you. But seeing as our situation is a little unique, I figured you can borrow my old one. It's one of my old pot skirts from when I was a keiki. Now you can really work on your dance like a real Hamana would. It's beautiful. Thank you. Bring it to our next lesson. You're ready. Mrs. Kakakama. Not today. I was just wondering if I could ask you a quick Auntie. question about. Auntie, I'll talk to Ikaika. It's going to be okay. Ikaika isn't going to do anything. It's too late. Did you just say Ikaika? Whoa. Who are you, bro? Well, 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 if it isn't, wait, I'm sorry, what is your name again? It's been so long since I've seen you last, I've completely forgot. It's been less than a week, Michael, calm down. I uh, paid a little visit to the property again yesterday. You do know you're supposed to be gaining the family's trust, not bullying them, right? And I learned some pretty fascinating information. I bet you did. I got a hint to you, Leah. I'm impressed there is a shark in you yet. What are you talking about? This little hula guy that you've been sneaking off with. At first, I thought you were just getting, you know, a little friendly with the locals. No judgment here. Then I found out who he really was. Can you make your point, Ari? And already? I realized that this nice girl play of yours is just an act. Well done. Michael, I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, I think you do. And I figured out your little secret. I'm on to you. Well, I don't I, have uh, a... Uh, I don't... I don't... Hi. How did it I have a meeting to get to. I will talk to you later. Hope it's a good meeting. Your back was turned, but I used air quotes. <sighs> oh.
Oh, actually, we are going to put this top. There you go. Now let's see oh, if it covers your knees. Mm, just barely, but I think for our purposes it will do. Thank you. Are you ready for the lessons to really begin? What are you doing with that? You. This is the holy girl that you want to teach? We talked about this. You gave her your pa'u skirt? It's just for the lesson. We said tourist hapa haoli only. You shouldn't give it away. She has no need for a pa'u. I didn't give it away. I thought. Oh, you thought, did you? Because it doesn't look like it to me. She's not haumana, and you're not a kumu. She's a swindling. That's enough. I'm sorry, but you shouldn't call her that. Hey, quiet. I want you and all your villains to stay away from my son. Mom. Your son? Do you know what your kind is doing to me and my family? Kaika, can I talk to you for a moment? No, you cannot. But Auntie, I can explain. What did you call me? I'm sorry. I am Kumu Kamalani, and no Auntie of yours. Now take off that skirt and don't come back. I'm so sorry, Kumu Kamalani. I'm so sorry, Akaika. Back so soon. Not now, Michael. You know what I was talking about earlier about how impressed I was with your, we'll call it, work? Well, Diana agrees with me. What did you tell her? Just the truth. In fact, she was so impressed that... <laughs> Diana, hello. Or should I say, aloha. Diana, oh. is anyone else struggling to breathe in this humidity? I didn't know you were coming. Oh, really? Michael said he told you. I did, didn't I? No, I thought I did. She's been so busy lately, I'm sure it just slipped her mind. Michael's been telling me about your tactics with the family, and I have to say, I was starting to worry about your ability to pull this off, especially after Michael told me about your dancing. But now that I see what you're up to, I am sorry I ever questioned your ability to tech like a shark. That is exactly what I said. Oh. I mean, coming it up with that hula guy so you can get close to him and the family and then convince them to surrender the buyout to you. Uh, genius. What? At first I thought, what could she possibly see in this guy, right? And then just yesterday I'm talking to his cousin and I learned that he is the heir of the property and thus the decision maker that we're all here trying to impress. Ikaika, wait. Ooh, was that him? Ooh, maybe you don't have this as quite in the bag as you thought. How could you? Ikaika. You have some nerve. I didn't you know. know. I thought something was a little strange. Why would a rich hotel guest who keeps such unpleasant company want to spend any time learning about the island and our traditions? Why would she want to make it a secret? It's all coming together now. That isn't what happened. It isn't. No. Because it looks like that is exactly what happened. When my mother told me, I didn't want to believe her. But your colleagues really cleared that up for me, so thank you. I didn't know that you were related at all to the property, I swear. Are you even hearing yourself? I told you my mother was the Kumu Ula and that her halal is in danger. But the halal was on the property site? Stop with what you're playing at. She saw you there. That is where you met. Yes, but I, I didn't know who she was at the time, and, and I didn't know the halal was the there. The land I... is currently under my name. You no, the property is under the name Robert. My American name is Robert. Like my father, when he passed, the property was bequeathed to me. That is how the halal is still there. Well, now I'm going to lose it. After all these generations, I'm the one to lose everything. My mother was right. Never trust a Holly. Don't bother putting your name on the auction tomorrow.
years may change I wait to see your face Like a rainbow returning to the sky Good job, everyone. I'll see you all next week. I wasn't expecting to see you yet. It's the auction. I heard, and I have something to show you. Coming. Diana. The auction is off. What? The property. I just heard the news. The family's attorney got a check from an anonymous donor who paid the lien just in time to pull it from the auction. But, 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 but how, how? How on earth did they come up with this kind of money? I've been trying to get a hold of Leah, too, but she's not in her room, and I... Bye for now, gift, some snacks for the kiddos, and you. Thank you. You really have to go back. I do. Yeah. But, I, but what? All I've done is make a mess of things since I got here. You were supposed to convert to an island girl with me. <laughs> I ruined that fantasy too badly for repair, I think. But maybe... One day after I have some time to heal, I'll, I'll come back and visit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Leah. Don't be. I learned that I, well, I learned that I can really love. <laughs> I can feel exhilarated and feel butterflies and all those crazy things I never thought I'd feel again. And if the downside of that is that I also have to feel the pain of loss, well, then I have to deal with that. At least I can feel. <laughs> That's something I didn't know I could do again before I got here. You sure you can't just try talking to him? Thank you for still loving me. And <laughs> thank you for always knowing when to check in. I, I don't thank you enough for that. Oh, no thanks necessary. <laughs> Get in here. <laughs> oh.
this came in from the attorney, too. Why didn't you tell me that you had a business plan for the land? How? This is wonderful, Ikaika. And the attorney said that there's an anonymous investment check that will cover the development. Looks like someone else out there believes in it, too. Diana. Why did you do it? Do what? The anonymous check the family suddenly got to cover the lien. I know it was you. You know I'm going to have to ask for your resignation letter. Already submitted. Leah. Please. I just want to understand. I just knew in my heart it was the right thing to do. But giving up everything you've worked for this whole time at Lavana, uh, and giving up partner, you know I have to give it to Michael now. And not to mention however much you paid to cover that lien. Well, what I invested is small compared to what you and the Prescotts would have made from displacing the family that owns that land and that runs the community center. And it's small compared to what we've made at Lavana doing that countless times before. I hope it was worth it. I know that it is. Diana, I, I need you to know that this has nothing to do with you. This is about me. Finally following my heart that feels something for the first time in a very long time. You will always be the greatest mentor I have ever had. Thank you for that. What am I gonna do without you? <laughs> uh, well, I might be penniless and looking for work soon. I don't know if you've heard, but I just blew my savings on a whim investment. Well, don't tease me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe take a little time while you're here and experience it. It might change your life. Did for me. Billy said you needed these. Mahalo. I'm sorry, Yukaika. For what? For all the things that I said to you, and for arguing with you on your instincts. Well, you're right about doubting those. No, I was very wrong. And I'm sorry for making you feel that I could possibly love anything more than you. You are my son, and I couldn't be more proud of the man you've become. You have a good head, and you have a good heart. And you could see the truth and the spirit in people that I was too angry to see. You honor me, Kaika, and I love you. I better get in there. Class is about to begin in a few minutes. And we have a new haumana joining our ohana. Someone new. Want to come welcome them with me? Ikaika, this is our Halal's new Haumana. Like I said, you were right and I was wrong. I went to the beach last night to pray to our kupuna for guidance. 
And while I was there, so was Leah. She was dancing all alone, and she made me feel something. She danced from her na'au. You taught her that. And you taught her well. Rumor on the street is she just invested in a very promising local business. Apparently, she did the development plans too. Seems like we can use a partner like her, don't you think? So nervous. Oh, don't be. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Congratulations. Thank you. I was just as surprised as you probably were. <laughs> Kumu said she saw you dance the melee on the beach. Must have found the Kona if it moved her. Yeah, I, I think I did. You see, I kind of messed up with this really great guy. Oh? Yeah, we had this whole misunderstanding and both said some hurtful things. Ouch. Yeah. And it's really a bummer because I think I might actually have feelings for this guy. Is that so? You know, like, like real feelings. I think I might love him, actually. <laughs> well. <laughs> what if he feels the same way? Well, that's the thing. <laughs> there's nothing they can do about it because there's this whole rule that a teacher can't get involved with his homana. Oh, but he's not a teacher anymore. And she's a homano with a halal that he's no longer part of. Though, there is this business that he's hoping she might partner with him on. I've been waiting a long time to do that. Me too. My holy hula girl. <laughs> Within the breeze from the beach to the mountains, the feel of sun warm sand between the toes on your feet. Every ocean swell casts a spell, a new love story to tell. Sweet Hawaii owns your heart. So we dance and sing of our love for Hawaii, of its many charms, from its plains to the sea, to the joyful tune, our hearts bloom, every goodbye is too soon, sweet Hawaii sing. You know you find 